Hello, welcome to Geeking Out with Shad. It is cold this morning, 29 degrees. Um, yeah, that's Minnesota. It is mid-October. Um, it's a little colder than it should be this time of year, but that's Minnesota. It's always up and down. You never know what the temperatures are going to be like. So we always have to go by averages throughout the month or whatever. <clears throat> because according to the forecast, this coming weekend we're going to be in the 70s. And again, 60s and 70s. So baffling. Anyway, what I wanted to talk about was another advantage of EVs. And, I, and I'm in the Chevrolet Bolt EUV. Um, I don't know if all EVs are like this, but um, I'm going to believe so. Um, when I drive my truck, which is a regular ICE engine or past ICE engine cars that I've owned, because I've lived in this state for a long time, on the cold days, when I start the engine from a cold start without like letting it sit there and idle for five minutes to warm the vehicle up, which is actually illegal in this state. You're only supposed to idle your car for no longer than two minutes. Um, but people just idle their cars all the time forever, which I don't get. It's, it's a waste. But um, <clears throat> I, without warming it up, get in it, start driving it. And that's how I do it because driving it will warm it up faster rather than just sitting there idling. Um, it really doesn't start to warm up until I start to get to work. And that is about a six mile drive. And then right as I get to work, it'll like be blowing warm air. This car started it from a cold stop this morning or cold start this morning, no warming it up. I didn't use the key fob and auto start it or anything like that. Um, started driving it. Um, turned on the heat to 72 and I did the heated seats and the heated steering wheel um, which I probably can turn off now because it's plenty warm and within three blocks it was already blowing warm air and then about double that by the time I got to this intersection by my house which is like around six or seven blocks from my house it was blowing hot air out of the vents um, and then within you know a mile or so the car started to feel warm inside like much much quicker than with my truck or any other ice vehicle i drove which takes forever to start blowing warm air through the vents and then once it does it takes a while to warm up which makes sense right because we gotta warm the air up in the car and <clears throat> so it's almost like why do i even bother turning the heat on going to work because it's like just starting to warm up when i arrive at work which isn't a very long commute um but it's one of the advantages of the ev is they heat up way quicker um and that's pretty awesome when you're in a colder climate like i am um that being said i do notice when the car is heating up it does use a bit more battery um, and we all know this now but I've talked about it quite a bit and the colder temperatures EVs do take a pretty big hit which makes a car like this more of an urban vehicle and not like a road tripping type vehicle um, especially in the colder temperatures in the summertime I could probably more easily road trip it but in the winter time eh. but for me I don't really road trip in the winter time so <laughs> So that's, uh, if I go anywhere, I get on an airplane and go somewhere. <laughs> it's generally in a warm, to a warmer area, right? So um, there you have it. Uh, EVs warm up quicker in cold temperatures than ice vehicles by a long shot. Like this car is toasty and I'm at my probably less than halfway mark of stopping at Starbucks here to grab a coffee on my way into work. So um, I'm impressed. It's nice to have a vehicle that warms up fast and the heated seats and the heated steering wheel is just a bonus if you get a model that doesn't have those features. Um, at least the heater is going to kick in fast, right? <clears throat> um, but with the heated seats and the heated steering wheel, it's just that much better because these are these leather seats or leather wannabe seats. I actually still don't know if this is real leather or not. <laughs> Somebody post in the comments if you know. Um, cool. I uh, really appreciate your support from my channel. Please like and subscribe. Peace.
coffee time. Oh, and there's a Tesla next to me. Cool, I think that's a Model X.